Well, hi there, everybody, and welcome back. It's been a whole week. I missed everybody. Well, it's been a week and a day, actually. But, uh, hey, you know, today's a pretty special day. I'm not sure too many people know this, but uh, November 6th is National Saxophone Day. That is correct. Right here, boys and girls. Probably the best thing that ever happened to me as a kid was that, uh, you know, my parents, they busted open the piggy bank to get me a saxophone so that I could go in the school band and play what I wanted. Now, uh, I could have played trumpet or, you know, cowbell or something, but, uh, and those were pretty inexpensive anyway, you know, like what was a cowbell back then, maybe five bucks and a you know, trumpet's probably around 200, but I had to pick the instrument that was going for $750 at the time. It was a pretty big uh, dent in my parents' wallet, for sure. But hey, you know, uh, if you wanna, they, I guess they figured if you wanna keep a 12-year-old interested in something and keep at it, then, uh, you know, get him what he wants to play, so they did. I think they even put it on installments, you know. So I gotta thank them for that, and uh, I gotta thank my wife too because she was the one who told me that uh, she told me the other night that you know Wednesday is uh, November sixth is National Saxophone Day. I had no idea. So I was doing a little bit of research today online, and uh, and I found out who the founder, who the inventor of the saxophone was. And I also found out a, a few, uh, I'm sure they weren't amusing at the time, but I found out a, a few amusing things about the fella. Uh, had quite the childhood apparently and uh, might not have been around to be able to invent the saxophone had it not been for luck or, you know, somebody up above was looking up, out after him, apparently. So... But hey, without further ado, I'll just uh, light up the old home computer here, and we're going to have a look. And uh, So here's the deal. National Saxophone Day commemorates the birth of the woodwinds inventor, Adolf Sax. Hence the name Saxophone. That's pretty cool, have your last name incorporated with instrument, right? Yeah, it will be like the... Preston or Monica or something, you know. But anyways, uh, anyways, so the November 6th is when he invented it. Uh, he was, sorry, it's not when he invented it. It's when he was born, November 6th, 1814. Yeah, uh, Adolf Sax invented many musical instruments, including the saxophone. Sax constructed saxophones in several sizes in the early 1840s. On June 28, 1846, he received a 15-year patent for the instrument. The patent encompassed 14 different versions of the fundamental design that we know of today, split into two categories of seven instruments each and ranging from soprano to contrabass. Uh, the saxophone that I have here is an alto sax. And it's uh, in the key of E flat. It's my favorite tone for saxophone. I also have a tenor saxophone. It's in the key of B flat. Uh, I really have gotten away from playing over the years. Uh, I don't do too bad with a backing track and some popular music, but, uh, and reading music. I need to work on playing by ear. Uh, the thing about YouTube is that you have to be very careful when you're playing somebody else's songs. There's copyright laws and 
Uh, it's okay to play them in the privacy of your own home, but when you're broadcasting to the general public, you need uh, permissions and rights and everything. I did look up a few of those, and uh, it does cost a fair bit of coin to get permission to use somebody's song, even for a cover, in, in a lot of cases. And so it's kind of my hope here is to continue on with this YouTube channel by telling stories, playing the sax, but it's going to have to be my own original music. I'm going to have to make my own backing tracks, uh, you know, with the drum machine, some bass guitar or something. I'll get it all figured out. But anyway, I, you know, hey, what a great pastime. Maybe one day when this channel gets enough viewers and subscribers, Speaking of which, that old subscribe button's right down there if you want to test it out. Anyway, once I get enough subscribers, enough watch hours on these videos, then uh, I can put this uh, channel of mine up for what they call monetization, and I can get paid ad dollars for just people watching my YouTube videos. And I'm hoping to put that back into things like buying commercial rights to songs that I can play on the saxophone. Um, using snippets of songs in my in my stories and you know who knows maybe I'm gonna end up doing skits or whatever I mean whatever is entertaining and whatever you know when it comes right down to it whatever is fun so. but anyways back to the history of the saxophone uh, after after Adolf Sax's patent expired in 1866 several saxophonists and instrument manufacturers implemented their own improvements in the original design and key work. So, you know, it just took off right from there. Um, if one wonders how to observe saxophone day and, uh, you know, listen to some sax music. Uh, you don't have to listen to mine, obviously, I mean, I need a little work there, but uh, there's a lot of good saxophone artists out there, you know. One of my favorites is Candy Dolfer. If you get a chance on YouTube, there is the live version of Lily Was Here, where Dave Stewart, who was the original guitarist on her studio album, cut of that song. He comes out on stage and plays with her, and it's just fantastic. There's nothing like it in this world. But anyway, yeah, listen to some saxophone music. Go to a jazz concert. You see, uh, this Adolf guy, he wanted to... He wanted to uh, get the saxophone in with the classical instruments, but they just weren't buying it. They were, they were very slow to take him up on that. And so, saxophone became primarily a jazz instrument, number one, and number two, used a lot in uh, rock and roll, which is where I was attracted to it. Believe it or not, when I was a young fella, it used to be this show called Happy Days. And, uh, Richie Cunningham was one of the main characters on it. He played tenor sax. And so I really wanted to play saxophone when I joined the school band in grade seven. So I didn't end up with the tenor, I ended up with an alto. But you know, I'm really happy about that. Things happen for a reason because the alto is my favorite of the saxophone family. But, anyways, again, uh, I'm all over the place here. But how to observe saxophone day? Listen to sax music. Go to a jazz concert. Definitely, definitely you'll appreciate that. Even play the saxophone if you have one. Uh, use hashtag saxophone day to post on social media, which is what I plan on doing when I post this video. And we'll see how that works out for me, because apparently those hashtags they cross social media uh, paths, like, you know, into Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and all that kind of thing and they direct people back to the video so hopefully I can snag a few more subscribers that way we'll see what happens so uh, National Saxophone Day history and you didn't think you're gonna get a history lesson today but neither did I but anyways November 6 commemorates the birth of Adolf Sax however National Day calendar continues researching the founder of this musical day so that's the website I was on for National Saxophone Day was the National Day Calendar website. And uh, if I flip over to good old Wikipedia, 
they are telling me a few things about Adolf Sax and his early life and why why the saxophone may never have been invented listen up folks I got a story for you so Antoine Joseph Sax was that was his original name was Antoine Joseph with a hyphen Antoine Joseph Sax was born on 6 November 1814 in Dinant which is now Belgium and his dad's name was Charles, his, wife, his mom's name was Marie. And while his given name was Antoine Joseph, he was referred to as Adolf from childhood. So I gotta got kinda wonder what kind of kid he was. But anyway, his father and mother were instrument designers themselves who made several changes to the design of the French horn. Adolf began to make his own instruments at an early age, entering two of his flutes and a clarinet into a competition at the age of 15. He subsequently studied performance on those two instruments as well as voice at the Royal Conservatory of Brussels. So, Sax faced many near-death experiences over the course of his childhood. He fell from a height of three floors, hit his head on a stone and could barely stand afterwards. At the age of three, he drank a bowl full of vitrolized water and later swallowed a pen. Burnt himself seriously in a gunpowder explosion. Fell onto a hot cast iron frying pan, burning his side. Survived poisoning and suffocation in his own bedroom where varnished items were kept during the night. His parents must have really liked him. And was hit on the head by a cobblestone and fell into a river and nearly died. Wow. Seven reasons why we may never have heard the saxophone. It may never have entered the rock and roll or the jazz scene or the classical scene for that matter. Lucky. Not lucky at the time. Just lucky to have made it through that. His mother once said that he's a child condemned to misfortune. He won't live. And his neighbors called him Little Sax the Ghost. Let that sink in for a little bit. So, yeah, um, he didn't really live a very long life either. I think he died at the ripe old age of 32, but it was from natural causes, so maybe way back then that was the ripe old age. Who knows? So, yeah, um, that's about all I've got for today, folks. Uh, got the old saxophone rocking, and I got the history of the saxophone. It is National Saxophone Day, so for all those out there who play saxophone, listen to saxophone, are a fan of the saxophone, and happy National Saxophone Day to y'all. All All right, that's about all I've got. Uh, Hey, let me know what you think of my new improved lighting and audio. I've I've hooked up to a mic now and uh, have a lighting ring for my uh, for my phone. Uh, It's not quite professional quality yet but it's a big improvement on my uh my last video anyway i would think Alrighty, folks i'm gonna sign off and uh you all be good to each other out there oh yeah and hit that subscribe button do a guy a favor would you right on hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell and like my video if you want eat if you want comment on it Give me some suggestions, perhaps, on uh, things you'd like to see in the future. I'm open to anything, man. I'll do, uh, I'll do skits. I'll, uh, I don't juggle, don't wash windows, but I'll do skits. I'll play the sax. I'll, uh, I'll review albums, but I can't play their music while I review them. So I'm gonna have to come up with something there. Anyways, folks, again, have a great day. Be good to each other, and yeah, we'll talk to you later. Wait out.